Hey guys, welcome to the day after Christmas. I've been talking about making a trip for a really long time and um, I am leaving where I live and going about an hour and a half north of me to a place called Ridgecrest, California. Now you all may have heard of that because there was a big earthquake there a couple months ago and it rattled our windows and shook everything down here an hour and a half away. Um, but what I'm after is to visit a little Baptist church on North Mono Street in Ridgecrest where up until about 1972 there was a preacher there named Reuben Lacey. Now who is Reuben Lacey? Well, I first heard about Reuben, Reuben Lacey on a Sun House recording. You know who Sun House is, right? Um, and it was live at Oberlin College, April 15th, 1965. At the very beginning of this, there's a narrative where he's talking about how he used to be a preacher and how he was not into the blues at all. In fact, he thought it was satanic. And he references Reuben Lacey. Again, this is a good one. I'll give you a link below. I think this is a record day a release. Um, I'm glad I got it. But the narrative on this album is is uh, very informative. Anyway, he mentions that Reuben Lacey was running around with a guitar slung over his back and playing with a medicine bottle, which is where our slide music come from. Well, in the future, as luck would have it, Son House quit preaching and became a blues player, and then he quit about 1943 after, after having been recorded a couple times on uh, one trip to Grafton and then later in the early 40s by Alan Lomax, who was subsequently discovered uh, by some people. I'm going to touch on that in a minute. Anyway, we're going to go up and we're going to visit this church, but there's been some people there before us. So I want to mention a name uh, that you need to know, and that's David Evans. Um, David Evans was a college uh, person about in the early 60s, and he was running around with John Fahey and Alan Wilson. You've heard me talk about Alan Wilson, who was in the band Canned Heat. And ultimately, Alan Wilson uh, was tasked with, when Sun House was rediscovered in Rochester, New York, uh, in uh, the mid 60s he had pretty much forgotten how to play his guitar well Alan Wilson had been studying with uh, by listening to records and pretty much sat down with Sun House and number one motivated him and number two kind of showed him uh, what his old chords looked like so um, Alan Wilson was instrumental in the re uh, discovery of Sun House and subsequent recordings he made but the person that was there the entire time was David Evans David Evans was a friend of Alan Wilson now uh, about 1967 Alan Wilson and David Evans made a trip to the church we're going to to visit Reuben Lacey Reverend Reuben Lacey and his wife there they made uh, three visits all together um, one of those visits, um, the um, the narrative of interviews they did with Reuben Lacey are in this book, Nothing But the Blues. It's a compendium of different things um, edited by, by Mike Ledbetter. But there's a section in here by David Evans where it's it, it goes through word by word the interview uh, that they had with Reuben Lacey and also... A summary of the trips up there so get this book if you're a blues collector get this one It's pretty hard to find this one's a little bit easier to find but it's a great book um, especially if you're actually a musician because there's stories in here there's going to be some hints in here to help you find places but it also goes in and analyzes the music and how it's played and chords and all that stuff that I don't know anything about but um, I've been in touch with David Evans um, he sent me another interview where uh, he interviewed Sun House about 1964 I think it was when they first got him into New York City and um, again line by line word by word and he references a little bit about Reuben Lacey so I've been waiting to make this trip let's hit the road but again shout out to you David Evans I wouldn't be here and uh, listen to the narratives and read the liner notes on these albums so let's hit the road
Hey guys, check it out. The weather has changed almost instantly. And that's because, well, it's actually two days later. Uh, when I left to go to Ridgecrest the day after Christmas on the 26th, there was a snowstorm, if you call it that. It's a California snowstorm, so you get about that much snow and everything is paralyzed. I made it to Mojave. The, the traffic was backed up. It took me uh, about an hour to go two miles and it was going to get worse ahead. So, turned around, went back, and now I'm headed out again. And this time, we're going to make it. So, I'll catch up with you uh, about Mojave and get a couple clips of what the scenery looks like along the way. We're going through some very desolate, unpopulated, who knows what, and I'll make sure you enjoy that right along with me. See you in Ridgecrest. Are you lonesome tonight? All right, I have finally made it. It is December 28th in the afternoon and I am at the church, the Baptist church that Reuben Lacey uh, preached at until he died. Um, from what I can tell by the interviews uh, that were done by David Evans and Alan Wilson that this church was built about four years before the interview which took place in 1967. So this church has been here since 1962 or 1963. It's out here on Mono Street in Ridgecrest. Hey guys, I brought a couple of things with me. Remember the book, Nothing But the Blues? It's got the excerpt of uh, kind of a summary of uh, David Evans and Alan Wilson's time up here with Reverend uh, Lacey and his wife and a little bit about the music they recorded while they were here. There's a little bit of that recording available on YouTube and I'm going to give you a link to that I think right about here right about now but I brought this book up here I also brought a Camacho box I'm going to build a Sun House guitar and I think you're going to find references to Reuben Lacey so I got some Sun House stuff in here that you'll see um, and again there will be references to Reuben Lacey in the Sun House guitar so watch for that to be built and then finally um, remember the white owl box top well they called alan wilson the blind owl so i'm going to hang this up somewhere behind the church towards ridgecrest face and ridgecrest if you find this sign it take a picture of it let me know you were here and that you're following this story i appreciate your subscriptions and uh, your comments and don't forget bookmark me so you can get uh links to the episodes when they come out but I really appreciate you coming up here and spending your time with me at this church because one of the grandfathers of the blues that influenced Sun House, who in turn influenced so many other people, ended uh, his days on earth preaching at this church here. So I'm going to head back to home, maybe catch a little clip of something here and there. Um, but um, I'm going to take a walk here with Tammy. She's with me, and that's very important to me. So. All right, guys, I just walked back behind the church, directly behind the church, and there is a huge old can dump out here. So, yeah, it's just, there's the church. It's right behind the church, and there are literally cans all over the ground everywhere out here. Um, you know what's funny is there are cone tops. You know, these cans are from the 30s and 40s. And there's flat tops out here and there's a lot of broken bottlenecks out here i think you know what's going to happen with that so anyway i made a nice little pile of stuff here that i'm going to take home got some cone tops bottlenecks there's even a piston in there and an old filter of some type or another so you know how i like to put relics in my stuff so you never know when this stuff is going to turn up but you know whoever was out here in the 20s and 30s 
giving these cans away like this for me to find uh, 80, 90 years later. I want to thank you very much. Um, and then, of course, I'm sure you went in Sunday morning, repented right in that building right there, didn't you? You know, you got to keep your eyes open. I almost drove away. But check this out. There is the dedication plaque for Union Missionary Baptist Church, Ridgecrest, California, October 25th, 1964. Reverend R. Lacey, pastor. And there's all the deacons, trustees, and secretary. Now I'm starting to think this place was built by the members because we've got a C. Davis and a G. Rowland. One's a deacon and one's a trustee there. And you can see on the front sidewalk here, Mark 3, 4, 1964, there's G. Rowland and Chester Davis right there. Okay, guys, I got me a piece of charcoal here and the light off my phone and a piece of uh, artist paper here that I've cut out. What I'm going to try to do is um, get a, a rubbing of this. Like so, yeah, and um, we'll see how this works out. This would be pretty cool if I can get it to work. Just gotta make sure the pressure on this is right. We'll get a couple pieces of these tapes here. Like so. Perfect. And I've flattened out the charcoal like this. So let's see what happens when I rub it nice. Oh yeah. Well, it's getting dark on me, but there you can see it, Union Missionary Baptist Church, and got the uh, rubbing, says Reverend Reuben Lacey. Kind of cool, but behind me in the sky, got the moon and the star right above it. Pretty cool way to end the night.